To war! To battle! At her final command, Diana's wings pulsated in the air, flapping gracefully as she swooped down and She was charging, flying to the castle walls. They prepared and ready to spill blood. As the armies below began to bellow and march forward, Rabbit caught at my shoulder and turned me away from the castle to face her. Come, we must hurry. Understanding the need for the urgency, I nodded and rushed forward, pressed the ink pod, towards the slope down the mountainside. Everything is in order. Sergeant Diana's guard are at the front lines, while Shadow is with his legion to the west. What about our route to the castle? We've done what we can to keep your way clear. We'll try to make sure the battle won't break through the path. I nodded, feeling the need to rush nip at my heels, pushing me forward. <laughs> my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> it's a me, Mario. Sorry. I nodded, feeling the need to rush nip at my heels. Pushing me forward, my fiancé seemed to agree, gripping my hand and walking at my pace alongside me. However, as we finally arrived at the forest line, Faye and Rabbit stopped, looking back at us. Straight through here. The sound of the war will always be on your right, so do not get lost. You'll be fine, though. Just follow the tree line. In sync, my fiancé and I nodded in acknowledgement before turning to see the older brothers and their wives. So, this is it. Remember your surroundings and protect each other. Be careful, all right? Make sure you stay safe. Princess, brother, we'll see you in the end. We have faith in you. You'll make it there, and we'll return to the human world soon. Kick his dead body a couple of times for me, all right? <laughs> right in the head. <laughs> oh, Sam. We'll be right here oh, rooting for you and watching your back, okay? We'll finish this and rush in as soon as we can, alright? Make sure you kick some serious ass. Show that old goat what he gets for messing with you. I smiled despite the nerves running through my body. I held onto my fiancé's hand and gave it a hard squeeze before receiving one back in kind. We'll finish this, and then we'll go home. The group nodded before I slowly turned and looked into the tree line, took a breath, and rushed forward. Matching my speed, my love followed, weaving through the trees behind me to not lose sight of me. The journey was surprisingly fast going through the trees. The sound of the war crashed beside us from outside the tree line, causing me to cover my ears a bit from the volume. But I shook my head and pressed forward, not wanting to become distracted. The goal was to get to the castle. I had to focus. Before I could, however, I skidded to a stop, seeing imps appear from the distance and rush towards us. As my incubus came up behind me and spotted the imps, he prepared himself to attack, but I placed my hand on his arm, stopping him. I got this. I walked forward and formed my weapon, letting it shine brightly in the darkness of the forest around us and temporarily blinding the imps ahead of us. My spear gathered its mass in my hand, forming from my energy within my hands and settling into my palms. I twirled it around myself, getting used to the balance and weight before holding it behind me, ready to charge forward. The imps, who were blinded by my light only for a moment, looked back at me and stared as the world who left them possessed. With a battle cry, I rushed forward, taking advantage of their fate. I lunged forward and ran my spear through one of the imps, effectively skewering him through the belly, before ripping my spear out and slicing down the imp beside him, completely carving open his chest. Jesus, Laundry. <laughs> Damn. Christ. The imps fell as the others became shell-shocked at sight. It must have been a big surprise to see a human cut down two of their number, but I wasn't in the mood to let them recover. My body quickly turned in front of another imp as I swung my weapon once again, slicing open his throat. But they- can you stop calling them bubbly cries? Like, just say they're choking on their blood, like... It's, it's not- it, it takes me out of the moment, man. <laughs> he fell as well, 
as I rushed forward again towards the castle, uncaring. The remaining imps began to quake and step back in fear, most likely never expecting to see a human decimate their companions. I wasn't so friendly and merciful, especially in this war, as I lunged forward again and skewered through another imp, hearing the steel of my weapon breaking through his body. My incubus, despite probably being surprised at my carnage, followed as I continued forward, fighting through every imp that came in our way. I had lost count how many crossed me. I care. All I cared about was getting to the castle. By the time we reached the end of the forest, there was a slew of dead bodies behind me. I stood at the tree line, panting and feeling waves of adrenaline and a lack of energy run through my veins. I panted for air, slowly focusing on calming down as my energy quickly depleted when it sent adrenaline filled high. The weapon in my hand quickly vanished, no longer able to maintain its form without my energy. That was all I could do before my energy was expended and a wave of exhaustion rolled through my body. I began to fall forward, exhausted. My fiancé, however, quickly rushed forward and caught me in his arms. Whoa! I got you. Are you okay? Uh-huh. I looked up to see Damien staring down at me with worry and panic in his expression. We were safe for the moment, so I merely smiled up at him with a nod. I'm fine. I promise to protect you like you protect me. Damien softly smiled and hugged me to him, pressing his head into my shoulder. I love you so much. I hugged him back, feeling relief that we had finally arrived at the castle and were about to rush inside. As we slowly pulled away, Damien lifted me up and helped me to my feet. Will you be okay? I nodded, shaking off the exhaustion from my mind. I was ready to end this. I looked up at the castle gates and felt a rush of determination run through me. Let's go finish this. With that, Damien and I rushed forward into the castle. The final battle had begun. Dun dun dun! Wah! The castle halls were grim and dark, sending shivers through me as Damien and I ran through them towards the sounds of battle. All across the ground were bodies of slaughtered imps and soldiers, most likely dead by Diana's hand. As we finally arrived in the throne room, Damien held out his arm to stop me and protect me from the battle waging within. Oh, hey. Diana and the Demon Lord were in some sort of energy deadlock with bolts of red energy streaming out of the Demon Lord's hand and colliding with the purple flame that came from Diana's. The two energies pressed against one another, unrelenting in their violent crash as each stream of energy tried to over obtain dominance over the other and send the other to the Shadow Realm. The Demon Lord and Diana were equally matched. Give up, Succubus! This world will bow to me! Over my dead body! That can be arranged! A burst of red energy pulsed around the Demon Lord's body, intensifying his bolt of lightning in the deadlock and forcing Diana to step back from the sheer force of it. Despite this, Diana pressed back gaining her momentum and her ground. Damien and I remained still and quiet, watching the bout. Damien was meant to be back up in case something happened to Diana, and thankfully she didn't necessarily need help for now. Or at least it didn't look like it. Maybe Damien wouldn't have to step in after all. Diana shut her eyes and seemed to focus her energy, a large black and purple flame slowly crawling around her body in a threatening aura as the power behind her energy stream increased and began to push back hard against the Demon Lord. As Diana opened her eyes, I gasped as they revealed themselves to be completely covered in gold of her eyes. <sighs> For a moment, the Demon Lord seemed to struggle maintaining his place, stepping back to try and remain upright at the hard push Diana was throwing his way. However, as he turned his body, the Demon Lord spotted me and Damien at the entrance of the hall, and a smirk grew on his face. Ah, uninvited guests! Diana suddenly turned her head our way, surprised at the acknowledgement which caused her momentum to falter a bit, taking the chance the Demon Lord released another pulse of energy at Diana, forcing her to bend back a bit and stumble on her feet. 
Diana's eyes returned to normal as she raised her other hand to assist in the stream of energy from the end of the deadlock, attempting to push forward again and regain her place. The demon lord, however, laughed. It's you, It's no man. use! Oh, that's bad. With the final push, the demon lord let out an angry snarl and forced his energy forward, causing Diana to slam back against the far pillar and lose concentration in her attack, smirking evilly. The demon lord took the chance and shot a bolt of red lightning at her, electrocuting her. Ah! Diana! Damien growled and stepped forward, but through her torture, Diana turned her head and glared hard at Damien, making him freeze in place. Not your turn! Despite being covered in red-tinted bolts of lightning, Diana began to focus her energy again, and formed a deep purple aura around herself, letting the Demon Lord's attack bounce around her new barrier. With a breath, Diana let her energy pulse out, dissolving the Demon Lord's attack and shot a burst of purple flames in retaliation. Her flames slammed themselves into the Demon Lord's chest, hunting him back against the opposite, towards the pillar of the opposite hers. I could see the light in Diana's eyes flicker from blood red to gold as she locked eyes with the Demon Lord. Something began to burn beneath her murderous gaze, as if a simple stare was powerful enough to burn through the most courageous of hearts. However, the smirk plastered on the Demon Lord's face made my body shiver at the sight. He was nowhere near phased from Diana's glare. In fact, he seemed to find it amusing from the look in his eyes. So, the Rebel Queen is protecting the mistake. How pathetic. The only Your voice that is lives pathetic, in this motherfucker. World is you. The echo of the Demon Lord's laughter bounced through the hall with an unforgiving reverb. Veration. Invading my ears and pounding against my mind. I could feel his dark energy pass through his voice and shake my soul. This wasn't a nightmare or a vision. The Demon Lord was right in front of me, and his presence was terrifying. Diana and the Demon Lord began to circle one another. Diana moving to stand in front of us while the Demon Lord positioned himself in front of his throne. What of the day? The the duel? Dice? Dice? Days? Days? I think. Daisy? The fuck is that? However, I could feel the anxiousness in Damien's arm as I held it to me, keeping him in place. He wanted to fight the Demon Lord, but Diana wasn't letting him and it was bothering him to no end. Let me help. I don't need help. With that answer, Diana sprinted forward, summoning her wings and shooting herself like a bullet towards the Demon Lord. As she passed the midpoint of the room, Diana formed her saber in her hands and swung it at the Demon Lord. To her disgust, the Demon Lord parried with ease with his own sword, knocking her saber back and swinging to get a slice of her. The battle became a quick slam of dodges and parries from the Demon Lord and Diana, the sound of steel clanging violently in the air. It became a challenge still, keeping Damien near me. I could feel the anger and need for battle in his tense muscles, ushering me to squeeze and pull him towards me cautiously. He obeyed, but who knew how long he would? What caused me to look away from Damien was the sound of Diana crying out in pain. <laughs> I watched Diana's body flew across the room and slammed itself into a nearby wall, part of the balcony above it collapsing and crumbling on top of her. I could almost hear bones breaking from the rocks that had fallen on her. Diana, no! I could see Diana digging her way out through the rubble, her hand clawing out of an opening in desperation to pull herself out. However, Damien took that chance to march towards the Demon Lord, ready to take up the fight. Damien? Seeing his new opponent, the Demon Lord chuckled darkly and brandished his sword, pointing it at Damien in a taunt. So, you've come to try and stop me? You're as foolish as I remember! You know nothing about me. I may not, but I remember all about your mother. Oh shit. That sparked the flare in Damien's rage. Damien swiped his hand into his pocket and pulled out the gem Diana had given him. From the grip he had on it, I was surprised it didn't smash between his fingers. However, before Damien could step forward, 
a flash of purple zipped across the room and slammed into the demon lord's body, shoving him into a pillar and successfully destroying it with his body. I'm not done with you yet! The room began to slowly shape into the reflection of my nightmare, with rubble and stone littering the ground. Diana floated in the air on her wings, but I could tell that her leg and at least a rib was broken, making her curl over from the pain. Diana kept glaring at the demon lord, however, gritting her teeth through the pain and forming her saber once again in her hand. As only a couple of fingers and her thumb managed to wrap around the handle, I could tell then that her hand was also injured. You'll have to kill me first before I let you get away. To see Diana continue to fight was remarkable, but I knew very well that she wasn't going to last long. One more avalanche of rubble on her would end her. The demon lord rose from the pile of stone that had fallen on him, grinning despite the blood rushing down his forehead. Then let me finish the job! Tackle the demon lord let his red energy pulse around him, making the rubble around him practically disintegrate before he lunged forward and slammed his sword into hers, shooting them both toward the opposite end of the throne room. Diana and the Demon Lord returned to their clashing of steel as Damien only fumed at the bout. My instinct screamed at me to pull him back and calm him down, but was I in a place to stop him? <laughs> Damien, calm the fuck down. Calm him down. That's what I thought. He needs to chill. I had to force Damien to accept Diana handling the fight. If he interfered, then Diana might attack him as well, just from her adrenaline rush. I grabbed Damien's hand and pulled him back to me, needing to set him straight. As he looked to me, I could see the need for revenge burning in his eyes. I instinctively felt bad, but I knew better than to let him rampage. Come on! I insisted and pulled Damien back towards the entrance of the hall, giving Diana and the Demon Lord space to fight. Damien reluctantly followed, not allowing the anger in his eyes to die as he stared and pinned his gaze on the fight. The battle intensified as we settled back in our place. Diana seemed to match equally to her opponent as the fight waged violently between them. Red lightning and purple flames sparked between their weapons, lighting the room like fireworks. As Diana's saber flew out of her hands and clattered on the floor, she brought her arms up and, to my surprise, duh, began to use her forearms to defend herself from the demon lord's blade. How it was possible, I would never know, but his blade would merely clang against the purple taint on Diana's skin, like she was wearing some form of armor, or perhaps her demon, demon markings protected her. Regardless, Diana defended herself as much as she could until she was met with a kick to the chest, sending her flying back into one of another pillar breaking it to lock part of her body. Her body was completely covered by rubble, unmoving and unwavering. It. Diana! The demon lord finally looked to Damien, tongue darting out to lick his blade as his smirk grew. Your turn, mistake 